Hey, opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be a preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantom against the Charlotte Checkers, as this is the latest edition of the grittiest take, as our Lehigh Valley Phantom sit at 18-21-7-3, and the Checkers sit at 27-21-3. When we take a look at the standings, our Phantoms are in seventh, a little bit behind Wilkes-Barre now at .520 percentage to a .469 percentage for Lehigh Valley. The Charlotte Checkers are in fourth at .559. And uh, we'll take a look <clears throat> now, other than the Cole Lins of the world and the um, Jack Drury's of the world while, they're down, while they've been down there and the Joey Keens of the world, we'll take a look at some other people that you got to look out for when it comes to the Charlotte Checkers. One guy is definitely league veteran Scott Wilson. Another is Logan Putsko, um, who has been very good this year when he's been uh, in for the Checkers in 51 games. He has 33 points, excuse me, in his rookie season, where he's been very dynamic for the Charlotte Checkers in their, or in his rookie season, excuse me. Uh, and then when it comes to Zach Dolpe at center, he's very effective, 27 points. Cal Flurry, you obviously have to look out for at the AHL level. We'll see what he becomes as he continues to develop at the NHL level. But AHL level, very good. Alexi Hepaniemi, same case. They got very good depth because as you go down to their uh, 12th most scorer, he has 20 points. And that's defenseman Chase Prisky, who you really have to watch for him jumping up on the play. Uh, Saran Noll um, is very good and very um, physical player as well that's going to bring it to you every night. Uh, Gregory Denisenko is a very skilled player. And then you obviously have the physicality guy in Carson Trewinski there who's really going to bring the jam every night, the former Phantom. So this team's built very good through and through from their defense uh, to their offense to their goaltending. Uh, no matter who's been in this year, even when it's been Christopoulos, the great ECHL goaltender from the Toledo Wally, uh, they've been good. Uh, when Spencer Knight's been in this year, they've, of course, been good. And then when Joey Decord's been in, well, that we that one is obvious. Joey Decord this year is a 2-6-2 and a 2, or in a 9-13, I should say, save percentage. So Joey Decord has been very sharp for them. And then when it comes to their other net miners, like I said, anybody who's kind of filled in, they, they all been good. Anton Babayu, he's been fine. Like I said, Billy Christopoulos was okay in three games. And then Devin Dubnyk even played four games with them this year. And even Fitzpatrick got put in for a game. And then again, Spencer Knight's played nine games. Uh, and Christopher Gibson's played a handful of games as well. So it'll be interesting to see who they put in net. But the, their team, great offensive depth. A uh, great defense on their team, especially defense that can jump up on the play the Charlotte Checkers have. And that's the means, and that's the uh, meat and potatoes of their team. They have good goaltending as well, but those two things are the first and foremost meats and potatoes of their team. And then comes in place the Gibsons um, <clears throat> of the world and their other goaltenders, uh, where th th they really rely on the great play up front and the great defensive play of the ability to jump up on the plays. And then Jerry Decord and whoever else is in net of the Gibsons of the world, the Babayus that have been net this year, the Knights, who are great, who's a great goaltender, they're able to get it done and continue to develop and continue to work their way up as they try to get to the NHL or back to the NHL for some of those um, guys. But when it comes to the Lehigh Valley Phantom side, I mean, we know uh, for our Phantoms, it's Cal O'Reilly, now that you have Isaac Ratcliffe back, be able to have a big body back in the lineup, so that's nice. Igor Zamula has been playing really well. We'll have to see how Frost does. Hayden Hodgson's always a dynamic player to look out for. I think um, against a Checkers team that can be aggressive and physically aggressive, a Garrett Wilson's going to shine really big in this game. And I think also a Stromer and also a Isaac Ratcliffe. Strom, Ratcliffe, I see those guys being able to shine big in this game because of the way that they're going to bring the physicality. And if you have Johnson playing, I would like to see him use his speed effectively against a team that also brings some speed uh, when it comes to adding to their jam as well in the Charlotte Checkers. Uh, this is not going to be an easy game for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. In order to beat the Checkers, you got to come out and pounce on them early. If you allow them to get a lead, they're one of the best teams 
at being able to just either keep adding on to it or adding on to it as a two, three goal lead and then being able to have very good defense in front of the court or whoever is in net and then win that way. So the key for me to this game is score the first goal, build on that as a Lehigh Valley Phantoms because I think if they allow the checkers to score the first goal, it's not going to be too pretty of a game just by the way from watching a few of their games this year, they tend to trend once they get that first goal, build off of another big hit or a fight or something or whatever, and then keep trending upward where the Phantoms need to really come out, set the tempo, they're in their home barn, and if they're able to do that, I think they have a decent chance to beat a very good team in our division in the Charlotte Checkers, who are continuing to look to try to position themselves better as when it comes to the um, Hartford Wolfpack, they're not that far behind them anymore at .559 to .594, so they could theoretically actually catch them, so they're continuing to try to thrive to try to get to that position as our Phantoms have to really start getting going here as they have a lot of games um, in a lot of days when it comes to March and particularly April, but they really got to get it going here in order to get back in that sixth spot and stay in that sixth spot. They don't have a buffer to mess around with, where in comparison to our ECHL team, our Reading Royals, and my latest Royal take that I'll link to the end of this if you're uh, two-way fans that like the Royals as well, they have a buffer with how many ridiculous scheduled games and days they have coming to actually, if you don't want to lose any, but if you do happen to lose a few just because of <clears throat> human nature when you play many games that many days, they have that buffer. The Phantoms don't, so they really got to come out and really set the tempo early in games, particularly games at the PPL Center, and that's what I look for them to do tonight, no matter if it's Usti or Nagel in that, because we also have to put in perspective, Nagel had a great first game, not as good of a second game, but he also hasn't played in a month, because he didn't play in the Beijing Olympics, he was just a very good leader that they brought for a locker room leader on the team. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day, enjoy the game tonight, let's go Phantoms, hopefully the Phantoms can start their own win streak, just like the Royals are going for six games, so they can get into sixth place, and keep building, and stay in that sixth spot, and kind of separate themselves from those pesky pens. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, enjoy your day, and go Phantoms.